I noticed on the way home from work um, what is called a flaring event or a flare event, which is something that a refinery does, uh, an oil refinery does, when it has too much of a chemical and it needs to get rid of it real fast. So it just burns it, it just burns the chemical into the atmosphere. And this is like bad uh, for people's health and just generally reflects a disregard for the health of the planet and everything. I grew up next to a couple oil refineries and I've always been fascinated by flaring events. And um, so I'm going over to the lumber yard to uh, get some pictures of the Torrance Refinery's current flaring event. And maybe you can see the light on my face. Here it is. Turn this around. There she is, baby. This is a dual, a dual flare flaring event. There's a lot going on tonight. Okay, here we are uh, at the Torrance Refinery in the parking lot of the Ganal Lumber. Uh, like Canal Lumber Yard, and we have these uh, these here flares. Um, so just for some like perspective, I mean, uh, that's the road below. That's Delamo Boulevard, and uh, these these spires. They go. I mean, I don't know how tall they are exactly, but you can see the the widest part up at the tip below the nozzle. That's like a catwalk. So people walk on that. And the railing there has to be, you know, at least three and a half, four feet. So that flame, if you think about think about the size of these flames, I mean, the one on the left is probably, I mean, that's easily 50 feet tall. The one on the right is a little less, but um, yeah, this is something that they do um, oftentimes before it rains because. Um, this is a, a highly like polluting process, right? So uh, sometimes they can get fined for putting too many chemicals in the air, and they're fined by a body called the South Coast Air Quality Management Division. And the South Coast AQMD um, doesn't monitor the oceans, and so when it rains, um, you know the, the the crap that's in the air gets washed through the storm drains into the ocean, where it can't be monitored. So they avoid fines by waiting until right before rain to, um, to to pull this type of shit. Bingo, it is raining on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. There's a handout that the city of Torrance gives to its residents. Uh, it's, it's, it's the Freddy the Flare Flyer, and it explains that when you see the flares burning, just remember that the refinery is running safely and nothing is wrong. Um, so that's a relief. Also, I don't know how well my camera is picking up the sound, but these sound like jet engines. Um, I'm not like yelling over them. They're quite far away from me, but like, it, yeah, it's crazy. It's a spectacle. I mean, sometimes you'll see people pull over in the parking lot, as I've done, and um, you know they'll check out you know, just the big fire, everyone likes to look at the big fire. And you know, I'm no different. There is a certain beauty to it. And then I think about, you know, um, how horrible the air I'm breathing is. Hello, I'm here again um, at the same uh, canal lumber yard, but 24 hours later, well, more like 25, 26. And um, it's uh, still going. The, the damn thing is still going. It's different tonight though. Um, hopefully the exposure on this camera can kind of give you an idea. The flame today is sort of blue at the base and, and it gets sort of a dark, dark orange as it rises. Yesterday's was more of a brilliant yellow. So something different is burning today. I don't know what it is, but it smells. Um, it smells really bad. It's like somewhere between roofing tar and like burnt rubber, like like when you when you when tired skid and they do donuts in a parking lot or whatever. Um, that stinks. Real bad. Uh, I've never known a flare event, at least not one of this size, to continue for this long. There must be I mean we know that there's rain coming in the next couple of days. It cannot come soon enough. Because it stinks out here. It smells really bad. And um, I hate that. 